So let me show you one more trigger example. I, uh, in these videos, I don't cover every nook and cranny of everything I teach. I try to give you the fundamentals and and let you take it from there. There's plenty of documentation and lots on the internet you can look up. But but let, let, I think let's do one more trigger example here just to try to drill some stuff home. Here I have a table I want to call representatives and uh, each one has an ID and a first name and a last name. So I have these reps. Uh, just think it's a contrived example. We, we have some reps that are at, at our uh, place of business. Okay, and let's say um, each rep has a city, and let's say var char uh, 50, and the city is the city that they're responsible for. Uh, and I'm going to say this is nullable, but I also want it to be unique, because I don't want two reps covering the same city. Okay, uh, so let's do this. Insert into representatives uh, values, and let's do Jamie King. Okay, and the city, whoops, we'll say null for the city. We don't know what city Jamie's going to cover, but he's a rep, okay? And let's get some more reps. Jamie King, let's do Susie Smith, Susie Smith, and she's in charge of Salt Lake City. You know, ideally, this would be an ID that references some other table, but whatever, this, this is fine. Um, and then let's do, I don't know. Rob, Bob, and we don't know. We just hired him as well, so we don't know what city he's going to cover. So when I say unique here, SQL Server, and this depends on what database you're on, but when I say unique, well, if you look at the three values I'm trying to insert into that that column there, I have null, I have Salt Lake City, and I have null. And if you remember from my previous videos, null means dot on null. I really don't know. I mean, Jamie King, we, we may put him in charge of uh, some other cities. Sacramento, and Bobbert could be in charge of uh, New York, but it really doesn't matter. Right now, they're both null, and we don't know. But when I run this whole script here that creates the table and then tries to insert these values, watch what happens. Ow! Oh, violation of unique constraint. Cannot insert duplicate key in the representatives. Basically, it's complaining. I'm trying to insert another null. In fact, let's let's say select splat. Let's uh, bring this down. Select splat from representatives. From representatives, highlight that. Notice Jamie King, Nolan, and fine, and Susie Smith, Salt Lake City, but Bob, Bob, Rob, Bob, Rob, or Rob, Bobbert, or say that ten times. Uh, <laughs> we can't put another null in there because null is not. In this case, I'm actually disappointed that Microsoft chose it, chose to implement it this way. But null is not uh, unique from null. So, what do you do when uh, Microsoft screws up? You write it yourself. So instead of saying unique here, let's create a trigger to enforce uniqueness. So before I do that, let's do our normal checks. Don't blink. Okay, there you go. I have the check to drop the table now. Um, and then let's uh, let's create a trigger now. So create trigger. Uh, oh, whoops. Let's give it a name. Um, can have duplicate moles on representatives. Uh, let's see. Turn. After, let's see, we can have an insert. An insert would cause it to happen. An update would cause it to happen, but a delete wouldn't, so we'll leave delete off. Uh, after insert or update, um, as, begin, and, okay. So since it's an after trigger, this is going to be a little easier to write. We need to basically find all the rows that don't have null for the city and make sure that there's not more than one. So that is a, that's a good case for a group by. So we can say uh, if exists, oh we need a parenthesis, exists, uh, select splat, let's line up here, from representatives where city is is not null. Get all the non-null cities. But we want to group by city. Having the count, if there's any group, whoopsie, that has more than one item, then we want to return something. So basically, we're saying if there exists a group where the count is greater than one, okay, then we need to cause an error. So let's line up here again, begin. And let's raise our 
Uh, you cannot insert a duplicate city. Uh, severity level, again, it's kind of arbitrary. You can look at those levels and then state, nothing. Uh, and then we need to roll back. Roll back. Okay. So there we go. We're going to check. We're going to allow, we're going to allow duplicate nulls. That's fine. But if it's not null, there, only, there should only be one in each group when it's grouped by the city. So let's, uh, let's see. I have the, all those checks. Okay, good. So let's rerun this again. Last time we only got Jamie King and Susie Smith, Bob Bobbert, Rob Bob, whatever you want to call him. Uh, he was eliminated because we said distinct on this column. But now, run that and, ah, there we go. Bob gets in. All right, we can have distinct or duplicate nulls. That's fine. But then only one Salt Lake City. In fact, let's, uh, Let's let's try to insert another Salt Lake City. Let's insert into representatives Susie Smo and Salt Lake City. So here we go. I'll just highlight this portion and hit F5. Run it. Boom! There's our error message. You cannot ha insert. You cannot insert a duplicate city. All right. Transaction ended into trigger. The batch been aborted because we said rollback. If we didn't say rollback, uh, everything would continue on just fine. So it's important that we say rollback. Raise error is just a way to say, hey, there's an error. And rollback is a way to say, hey, get out of this. Abort it. Don't do what they're trying to do. Or undo whatever that it is that they did. So there you go. There's a simple trigger that allows you to basically prevent um, duplicate or have duplicate nulls, but prevent all other duplicates.